And rising beautiful people, what's going on? This is Mike with the 1% Mindset. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. It is Friday. Happy, happy, happy Friday. It is Friday, September 29th episode. What are we on? 370. First and foremost, if you've been rocking with me from the very beginning, I know a few people who have. I am super, super grateful for you rocking with me for all 370 episodes. Uh, it's been a wild, wild ride from the very first episode pruning till you know what this episode will be uh, today I've been doing this for years so I'm extremely pumped and excited to get this with you so of course if this is your first time listening to this podcast thank you but this is your jolt of inspiration each and every single morning to get your day started it's your cup of coffee and motivation or as I like to say it's the work before the work so whether you're on your way to school gym work wherever it is this podcast although briefly will get your day started Man, you know, I, as I was doing this 370th episode, I was thinking about a few things people said. Someone said to me, man, what kind of money are you making on this podcast? And I was like, you know, I'm not really doing this. I'm really doing this for me, right? I, I was making money on the 1% Mindset, my main podcast that I stopped. But for this one, I haven't really, uh, I haven't really made any money on this podcast. And I'm mostly doing this for me, right? Because it's a, it's a pull for me to continue to get better but one thing I realized is how I view myself is how I view the world right I look at myself as a powerful courageous leader right someone who needs to get this message across so no matter how many people listen to it I'm going to do it but if you view yourself in a way that is that is weak that is powerless Right, then you're always going to be victim to circumstances that take place. Right? And that happens a lot of times in business and relationships, whatever it is. If you view yourself as weak and powerless, that is how people view you and you ultimately view the world. Right? So if you view yourself as weak and powerless, the world is going to view you as weak and powerless. Right? You're always gonna play you're always going to be a victim. Something is always going to be wrong. The world is like this. Ne nothing is fair. Whatever the case may be. Right? Are there obstacles for certain demographics? Absolutely. Is there a wage gap with women? Of course. If there are, is there a, definitely a wage gap with, with, with race between, you know, whites and minorities or what? Of course. Is that an excuse? No. No, it's not. Right? Because if you, if you become powerless in a situation where there's always blame, then what are we doing? I mean, you can play the blame game all day. Or you can be empowered by your situation and your circumstance and you can do something about it. Think about that in a real way. If you are powerless, then no matter how the tree shakes, you're going to move with it. You'll never stand firm, you'll never have a firm foundation if your mindset and your mood is always in a place and a space that you can be rocked. It's a very, very powerless place to be in. Look, I'm sitting here, I'm going to tell you this. You have the opportunity to decide to make a decision to say that no matter what, I am fully responsible for what happens and I am okay with taking full accountability because I know that how I view myself is how I will view the world. And if I view it as powerful, then nothing can shake or break me. Right? I'm not saying don't have emotions. I'm not saying, you know, feelings aren't there. You get to feel what you feel and you don't let to get that stop. You. And you don't need to make that stop you. You can feel everything and still perform at a high level. Right? You can feel everything and still get stuff done. Right? Feelings should not dictate performance. Perspective drives performance, not feelings. Right? If your perspective is great, I can I can be upset and I can cry and I can say, I'm gonna make this I'm gonna use this fuel to motivate me to make things happen. Your perspective will always drive it. Don't play a powerless game like you can't do it because of circumstance. Those don't matter. So as you move through this Friday, as we end this third quarter with a bang, because next week starts quarter number four, you know you have three more months to make stuff happen. Because 2024 is right around the corner, and you get to decide what that looks like for you. 
in a real, real way. So, of course, I hope you felt me and I hope you feel me. I love you. Peace.